I recently ordered five chairs for under $300 on Amazon in hopes of finding another diamond in the rough like we did with the Tacova, and that's exactly what happened. We've ordered a ton of cheap chairs from Amazon, and most are pretty lackluster, but every once in a while, we find a gem. First it was the Clitina Millette, then it was the Tacova. We hadn't found anything in a really long time that we felt was better until we found the Kalami Atlas. The biggest difference to me between the Tacova and the Atlas is going to be the build. The Atlas is just a much better built chair. This is a pretty big deal considering the build quality on the Tacova is its weak point. This is the case for most chairs under $300, but Kalami managed to design a chair that's well built in this same price range. The first thing that I noticed was how solid the chair was when I initially grabbed it to move it to my desk. Most chairs in this price category are wiggly, the parts will rattle around, and they just don't feel solid over overall, not the Atlas chair. This chair feels substantial and well put together. The components are a noticeable upgrade to chairs like the Tacova. This is most evident with basic components like the wheels and base. The Tacova's wheels are small, cheap, and not visually appealing. The base is made up of six different parts that they can make the box smaller to save on shipping. This is very common with cheap chairs, but the Atlas has large wheels, they're dual purpose, and they have a similar look to high-end ergonomic chairs. They also went with a heavy-duty base that's aluminum and nylon, and it's a single piece. This theme continues throughout the rest of the chair. The armrest frame, mesh quality, and technology used to adjust the chair are all noticeably better on the Atlas. I can confidently say that this is the most well-built chair I've seen for under $300. Having a good build was a great start for the Atlas, but it still needed to be comfortable. It doesn't matter how well built it is if you can't comfortably use the chair. The seat is the first thing I always focus on when I sit down because it's the first thing that I feel. I really like the seat. To start, the adjustments are good. The height range is generous and it goes quite low, so this will be a nice option for shorter people. I am really impressed with the seat depth adjustment, mainly because most chairs don't even have it in this price range, but also because of how good it is. It has an adjustment dial, like the Steelcase Gesture, which sells for almost $1,500. The dial is super easy to use, which is amazing because seat depth adjustment can be a real pain to use, even on high-end chairs. Not only does the Atlas have seat depth adjustment, but it also has one of the best adjustment systems I've seen on any chair at any price. Along with being a fan of the adjustments, I also like the cushion. It has a good thickness, but it isn't so soft that you sink into it. It feels supportive, doesn't feel like it will bottom out, and is soft enough for me to use it comfortably for extended periods of time. My only gripe is that I would prefer that it didn't have the slanted edges on the side of the cushion. I much prefer a flatter design because it gives the cushion a larger surface area and more wiggle room to move around. The backrest is the next area of focus when it comes to overall comfort of the chair, and the Atlas did not disappoint here. The back on the Atlas is very similar to the Eurotech Vera chair, which is my most recommended chair for under $500, and a huge reason for that is its backrest. The natural curve is what makes the backrest so comfortable. You also get height adjustable lumbar support. It has a good height range, and it's very easy to use. The lumbar support isn't padded though. It's hard plastic, but I don't find it to be too aggressive that it's uncomfortable for me to use. The backrest shape and frame design allow for good range of motion as well. The mesh has good elasticity, so it will allow you to sink into a bit and it will conform to your back nicely, but one potential downside with this mesh is that it is a bit coarse like the mesh on the Vera. This type of mesh tends to eat clothing like wool sweaters. Overall though, I think they did a nice job with the backrest and I think most people will like it. The headrest is another positive with the Atlas. Many times, adding a headrest to a chair at this price point is detrimental. Often they are really cheaply made and don't really do anything, but that's not the case with the Atlas. It has two-way adjustment and both are easy to use and most importantly, they hold their position. You get the same mesh as the backrest on the headrest, so it not only matches the look, but it continues the theme of being good quality from the bottom all the way to the top of the chair. The arms continue the theme of not disappointing, especially for a chair that's under $300. The pads themselves are pretty good. Nothing that will wow you, but they have some softness to them and I find them to be comfortable. I also like the shape. They just have a basic rectangle shape with a flat top and rounded corners. Overall, this design should work for almost anyone that uses the chair. They also come with four-way adjustment. This is really nice for a chair under $300 as most chairs will not have this many adjustments. They're actually quite generous too. My one complaint is going 
going to be the depth adjustment though. It doesn't work quite like it should when you recline. A lot of chairs make this mistake. They position the arms too far forward to start. When you recline, there's a gap between the arms and your backrest, and it just gets bigger and bigger as you go back. The arm depth adjustment doesn't fix this because of the initial positioning of the arms, but I do like the other aspects of the arms. The recline is the last thing we're going to look at with the Atlas, and this is another area where I think Kalami got it right, especially with the adjustments. The tension dial is just like the seat depth dial, but on the other side of the seat. Most tension adjustments, especially in this price range, are hard to reach, they're difficult to adjust, and it will require dozens and dozens of turns to make a difference. The adjustment on the Atlas is easy to reach, easy to turn, and a few turns makes a noticeable change. I also like the back lock adjustments for the same reason. Most chairs have tilt lock systems that are tough to reach and difficult to engage. The little lever on the Atlas is easy to reach and clicks right into place. This makes it easy to choose between the different backstop positions and really dial in the chair the way that you like it. The recline action itself is also nice. Kalami went with a synchro tilt recline and it goes back quite far. The movement is smooth and doesn't feel forced at any point during the range. Buying a cheaper chair will always have some downsides, and the Atlas is not immune to that. There are a few things that I would change if I could, but this chair has the most bang for your buck out of any chair that I've reviewed. This feels closer to a $500 chair than a $300 chair, and I can see this being my pick for the best chair for under $300 for quite some time.